got you pegged, buddy. Yeah, yeah. If I don't get a few in, I'm gonna dance anyway. So what's your point? You dance just fine, Sunny. Back courtyard, let someone else dump them. I guess that's something. Who are these assholes anyway? I don't know, CIA or KGB guys or something. Uh, they're, they're part of the Russian gate. Coben cleaned them up. Coben cleaned up secret agents. Shit, now I'm impressed. I'm a little freaked. I mean, what the hell is this going to happen? Who the hell has he got us working for? Who's gonna ask him? They just called it in. Gramko's messed up. <laughs> what the <laughs> Besides, the goggles are covered in brain. You had to go there, huh? You really had to go there. I'm just saying. Would you shut up, both of you? I'm getting the feeling that Coben is in way over his head for this one. If he drowns, we drown with him. Oh, uh, man, I like you better when you're talking about the brains. Let's go. 
Jesus Christ! Oh, you wait! Oh, 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 shit!
reasons, that's why. And I want to know if you think this place is haunted. No, I don't think it's haunted. You happy? Are you sure? Shit! Shit! <laughs> What's the plan? I'll tell you what the plan is. That son of a bitch is gonna come through that door and we're gonna blast him when he does! Boss, what if he comes through the window? Then you shoot him! What kind of fucking stupid question is that? You get this straight. Nobody is going anywhere until Fisher is dead. Until he shows up, all you gotta do is shut up and get ready to shoot. Are we clear? Yeah, boss. I said shut up! Easy there, boss. Don't tell me to take it easy. I'm ready. Are you idiots ready? I'm ready. I'm ready right now! <laughs> I'm not hearing anything. Are you hearing anything? You, uh, Dad, go check it something about my daughter. Oh, God, no. I was just messing with you, man. I didn't mean it. I swear I didn't mean it. Then make it up to me. Tell me why you killed her. I can't tell you. All you can do is kill me. It was just a job. They just gave me a picture and told me to provide a body. That's all it was, a dump job! They isn't good enough. Who were you working for? I can't tell you! I'm still working for them! They'll gut me if I tell you! you should be worried about right now. You don't get it, Fisher! They're bigger than you! They're bigger than me! Don't you see? They told me you were coming! Drop it, Fisher! Drop it now! Give me multi heart! Sam, we need to go with them. The hell I do. Please, you have to trust me on this one. If you're talking to the Ice Queen, Fisher, I'd advise you to listen. She knows all sorts of things you'd be interested in. What took you so fucking long? Don't move! Hands in the That's air! It, Fisher. No nice and easy! Man, this is Ghost Hawk 1. We've secured Panther and are ready to return to base. All right, Grim. You get this one. But if it's a setup, Oh, 
I'll be happy when we drop off sneaking you here. So will Reed. I saw his people out by his chopper ready to go. He's probably impatient. Look, Colonel Prentice, I got us here as fast as I could. Yes, you did, Oscar. Tom Reed's just not a patient man. Uh, Colonel, I don't mean to be pushy on this one, but I do need to talk about my pay. I was told Coburn was handling that. Well, yes, sir, but since there were these changes, you see, extra passengers with extra gear and a longer flight plan. Tell you what, Oscar, take it up with Colonel Reed. He'll take care of you. It was clear someone wanted to talk to Sam. That's why they went to all the trouble of setting him up with Co- He's awake. <laughs> Fuel is at three, man. Colonel Prentice, Major Robertson, we don't have time to chat. Our timetable says your men need to move. Everything's operational, Director Reed. We start deployment at 900 hours this morning. Good, keep things going on your end. I'm heading back to third echelon to prep things there. Oh, our people would be just fine. Never had any doubts. Now, gentlemen, if you'll excuse us, I need a minute with Miss Grimm's daughter here. There's a loose end that needs tying off. Of course, Major. Right. Fisher's all yours, Anna. You packaged him for us in Malta, you get to unwrap him here. Find out what he knows about the EMPs, how he knows it, and why he's been hunting our friend Mr. Coben. Might take a while, Tom. He's been trained to resist interrogation. I'm authorizing you to use whatever persuaders you need, chemical or otherwise. Get the answers, and dispose of them. Just don't be as messy this time. Well, I'll keep that in mind. Anything else? Just, Just get, get to, to it. it. And call me when you have something. I'll be at HQ. Listen to me. I'm working for President Caldwell as a mole inside third echelon. Reed's the new director, and he's working hand-in-hand -hand with our hosts here. A PMC called Black Arrow. They're running a pipeline for stolen Russian EMP tech through Malta. And Reed's stonewalling any kind of investigation into it. Reed's stonewalling the president. He's got serious political coverage from somewhere. And the president isn't getting anywhere through channels. We know they're in the final stages of prep for something very ugly. But what we don't know is what it is or where it's going down. Really? Then again, you seem more interested in field work these days. Stop it. I need you to do this. The second I make a move, my cover is blown. But you're on the outside now. You are free to act. I don't do this sort of thing anymore. Tell that to the men you killed in Malta. Now, if you don't make it look like you escaped and attacked me, I'm dead. So make it look good, Sam. Hit me. Do what you have to do. Grim, let me remind you I'm out of the game. You're not out. All it took was one hint about her. Only one hint about Sarah, and you dove right back in. What do you know about her? I know she's alive. How's that for starters? You're lying. She's dead. Lambert told me she was dead, and I take his word over you. She's alive, Sam, and I know where she is. I've known all along. You're lying. Why should I believe you? Because my people have her. If you help me, you get to see her again. If you don't, it's out of my hands. Do not lie to me about this. I'll kill you. You understand me? I will kill you. Sam, I've been lying to you about this for years. Okay. I okay, that'll do. Good work. Shut up. Here. My car's just outside their security gate. It's a red T-208. 
I disabled the GPS locator chip so Third Echelon's birds can't find it. And take this snake cam. It's linked with this phone. The signal's encrypted. In case you get lonely. So I can set up a call with Sarah to prove to you that she's alive and unharmed. Now we need to get you out of here without them coming after you. C4 should help with that. There's some right outside. Get it and call me back. I don't get the gun. Just point it at the right people.